when did I get so bad at telling my troops what to do? Let's Play Falling asks me what I think the hardest achievement is. Funnily enough, I'd put my money on uh, the three mountains for level two, two, three, two. So one cannon and one thousand. Oh, stick you two there. Again, one cannon and one, two of you. And this kills the Denmark. Alright, Breslau has fallen. It allows me to see how much you are to annex. You are much too much. And what is frustrating is that even if you lost Bohemia, you'd still be too much to annex. But what I can do is get rid of your friends. Well, namely GB. Ach, and I'm not too worried about. Amazing that they've held on to independence for so long, but I will, uh, Look forward to stripping them of that. Alright, tell me about this province. Fort level 2, and 2000 is all we need. Onwards and upwards. Kinda rubs me the wrong way that you'll take attrition here, even though you're just beside your vassal's port. We've got the next military tech, and it's a huge one. I don't particularly want to pay over the odds on it, but I mean, when I say it's huge, I mean huge. And France has it, so... Hmm. I will wait a little, though, because none of my enemies, even if they have it over me, they don't pose a threat. As long as we keep that manpower above 100,000, I'll, uh, I'll feel okay with the situation. I don't really like what they've done to the rebels, just kind of trivialised them by being able to accept demands left, right and centre. I mean, I suppose it's better than the Europa Universalis 3 one, where you could only do it once every 20 years, I think, and yet have positive prestige, is that right? Maybe I'm imagining that part. But I mean, just, you'll never break apart, just constantly accept their demands and you'll be okay. You'll have no uh, prestige, but when has prestige ever mattered that much? If, I, if anything, to make it matter a little less now, it only gives you 10% morale. Just another thing to moan about. I love this game. Rev Sean shows his uh, Western centricism, if that's even a word, by asking, how do I get more than 999 points? Well, the base amount you're allowed is 999, and it's multiplied by your tech group. My tech group is Chinese, which is 160% cost, so I can store 160% of 999, so I can keep 1598 of any monarch power saved. Oh man. I really like the early game where you're fighting small, incredibly important battles. Conversely, this is not what I enjoy in Europa Universalis. Okay, let's not have my fleet dying here anymore, please. Oh. Ah, huh, borders Hinterpommern, so uh, that means I can have you there as well. Alright, sorry, wrong button there. Let's get rid of the damaged fleet, send them home, 
And I can heal up there. As for the rest of you, detach enough to blockade that. The rest can take care of the Lollins. Yeah, these guys have fallen fast. Now, whatever do I do with you? I take just enough and break your alliances and, well, let's take all your money as well, because why not? I'm not at war with the Emperor, but the Emperor's just come out of the war, so they might be keen to fight me. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, that's okay. Keep it coming. I now have enough provinces that all these uh, all these local autonomies don't matter too much. Great Britain capturing my overseas provinces. Pfft. When have I ever cared about those? Japan covered in rebs. Okay, that's that's something. Please don't be converting my uh, my islands to Shinto. I suppose now is the time to be very glad that uh, Japan is an island and rebels can't use boats. In my earlier scrub days of EU3, I thought they could. I really thought the rebels could use boats. Because I saw some Irish nationalists rising up in uh, Scandinavia. I thought they'd taken a boat from Ireland and sailed over there. Alright, this seems to be okay. Rip you into pieces. Only gives me 36% uh, overextension, and I turn around and slam into you a bit more. How could it possibly go wrong? Ah, Aristo, good morning. What in the world are you doing up at this time? And how many times am I going to have to give in to these Joe guys? There we go. One problem is the local autonomy. Doesn't even hurt that much. I still make plenty off of uh, the trade of tea. Okay, just need to make sure you don't make any alliances back. Ah, my ships can now take attrition. Let's just get them back. There's no hurry. Oh God, 1726. Where in the world is time going? I need to conquer like tw 10 provinces every year. I got the Holy War that I needed though. Now Austria, are you going to protect them? Are you man enough? Well, you now have no imperial authority. So probably not. Not only that, but did you lose some land? Be losing lectorship at this rate, and that is something I do not mind one bit. You've still kept your tonking big alliances, though. That's uh, that worries me slightly. these problems. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's just cruel. Austria was forced to give two provinces back to Hungary, and that's made them too big to annex in one shot. Hmm. Well, let's turn this into an opportunity. If I can have all three of my wars ready to be wrapped up in one go, then I'll be okay. I can get a concede defeat with the British. 
because there's nothing I really need out of them. Saxony is an elector, so I may want to chew them up to disband the Holy Roman Empire, but the HRE is not a big problem. The Emperor cannot demand unlawful provinces off of me, because I am uh, a heathen. Also, there goes that one boat I had over there. No problem. Alright, just need these wars to wrap up and everything will be okay. Everyone will be home in time for Christmas. And then I set about uh, conquering the rest of northern Germany because I need to spread myself across Europe like some hideous plague. I'm told I can always wait for 75% administrative efficiency. That's a long way away. You need level 29 for it, and if memory serves, level 29 is expected at 1790. Hmm. The British are making a headway. I'll have to keep that in mind for when I actually want to fight them properly. Also, did you always have that province? I'm really losing it, must because it's so early in the morning. I streamed last night, then I went to work, and now I'm back here for more streaming. Must be losing it. That's the Prussia we all know and love. Let's do something about that war exhaustion. Right, finally one of the Danes' fault. Somebody's asking about religious unity. I'm sitting pretty at 100%. Although part of that will be down to annexing this land. When I spit it out, it'll uh, go a little uncomfortably high. Wow getting wrecked by the Prussians here. So who is joining in? Must be those Saxons. I'll put them in their place. I'm being asked if I'll have to abandon the plan to annex all of uh, Europe, Africa, and Asia. Well, we'll see. Good, even born homes form. The trouble is this, even if I subjugated all of Europe at the click of a button right now, I probably would not have the time to integrate them all because even after one round of integration at best I could do one, two, three, four, five, six of them at once. But I'd have to wait 20 years even after it's finished because all my other vassals would hate me. So yeah, plenty to think about there. Oh. This is getting, uh, this is going from bad to worse. I can't one-shot uh, Denmark either, because they're too big. I could reduce them to just one province, though. The capital must be worth a heck of a lot. 